Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen the coding of this calculator coding we have written, right? Now let's try to build the UI in this video. So for building the UI, what we need to have? So here is the output. So just we have shown only the header. So simple character, the heading part only we have seen. Now let's try to build it the UA part here. What is the UA part? What, what is the things we need it? So we need to have just we will try to make it as simple. So we are mainly focusing on the testing, right? So just we will try to focus on only the basic thing only. And here I will be having one input text input type is equal to text. So where the user will try to give the calculator that 5 plus 3 2 plus 3 something like that. And here at the bottom you will have the result. So let's say for the time being I am showing it as static 3. Now let's try to see the output. If you try to see the output, here the output is, so we are able to see one input box and down we are able to see the result. And the user what it will, what he will try to do is, whenever he wants to see the uh, operations, so he will write, sorry, 5 plus 3 and we need to get the result 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So and again if you want another one is 4 minus 2. So like this he will give the input value and we need to capture this input value and we need to do the operation according to that input value the user has given. So let's try to build this calculator. Now in order to build this calculator what we need to do? First we need to get this value from this input box. In order to get this value from the input box so we need to write the javascript code. So let's try to create a new file something like main.js okay. So in this main.js what I will try to do is. So in this calculator, I will try to create an ID. ID is equal to, let's take it as input value. Now in this, in, for this input value, whenever the user changes this input box, we need to capture that value and we need to show the details. So let's go into the main.js file and here I will write document dot get element by ID. So we are having the ID and input value whenever we need to listen add event listener of so change okay so add event listener of change let's try to now we need to we need to write the function so here i will write calculate function okay that's it so whenever user changes we will call this calculate function and in this calculate function we will get an event so let's try to print the uh, console the event let's see whether it is working or not so here i am doing the console.log of event now if i try to see the output so here a user writes something and he changes sorry let's try to refresh this page yeah so 5 plus 3 and here we are not getting any values so why so let's try to open this one again in simple calculator in the open with live server okay so why this output is not getting is so we need to add the reference to in this one right so here let's try to add the main.js reference script type is equal to text slash javascript and source is equal to main.js that's it so here we have written the we have added the link here main.js now let's try to see whether we are able to get the output or not here if i try to refresh this one and we can close this one only one thing is enough and whenever the user writes 5 plus 3 and here we are able to get the event. So this is the event. So total that input box event. So what is the tab? Everything will be there here. What is the type of event we have fight and what is the value inside this one? So if you want to get the value of this input box. So what is the uh, where we need to check is target dot value. So if you go to the target. So uh, it is all it's a big very big object. Now here you need to go down. So somewhere you will be able to see target dot value. Oh, still so many things are there. So still we need to go here. Here you will be able to see target dot value. So this is the data that has been written in the input box. So now if we want to get the data, what I need to do? Event dot target dot value. So this is the value. Now let's try to see the output whether we are able to get this one or not. So 5 plus 3. That's it. So whatever the value I am giving 5 divided by 3. So that is the output I am able to get it through the event.target.value. Okay. So now we got the value. Let's try to save this one. Constant input value. So we got the input value. And now what is the thing we need it so for, for making for getting this result. So now user has written 5 plus 3. Okay fine. 
now i need to calculate this 5 plus 3 and i need to show the result down so what are if, if i want to show the result down what are the things i need it so here i need to have first the number a so first number and second one is the number b the second number and the last one is the operator so what is the type of either it is a plus operator minus operators uh, multiply or divide operator i need to know the operator so using this operator i can apply the operation on this number a and number b so here we need to get the values so first number and second number and also the operator so in order to get the value from this uh, what i can say in order to get the number value what is that we can use so we can use the regular expression for getting this value we can use the regular expression so here so if i try to see so here let's try to go to regex 101 or something like that so in order to get this uh, regular expression in order to extract the regular expression so we'll try to get this one now first what is the regular expression for which one i need to write the regular expression so for this something like 5 plus 3 5 minus 3 so these type of things the user will be writing and we need to get the regular expression here okay so we need to get the regular expression so how can i get the regular expression so what is the separator here i need to check the separator is nothing but plus either plus minus divide or into multiply so using this separator i can get the left hand side first number and the right hand side second number so let's try to write the regular expression for this one so the first one is the plus okay so here i can write plus so i need to check it with the plus as the plus belongs to this regular expression uh, item so we need to add an escape parameter here i need to add now see you are able to see here if i try to, if i try to show you here the blue color the matching has been found now whether the whether the plus or or means pipe symbol we need to add it so here we can add plus or and we can use the star symbol so that the multiply here it is highlighted or you can use the slash high minus or slash and another one is the divided by so here these these are this is the regular expression so anything whether whether it may be a plus or a star or third alternative is my subtract or division so if any of this one so we are trying to maintain the calculator as simple as possible so anything uh, a, any operator so plus into or anything so we should take this one as a you should take this one as a split operator so this one you, you need to take it as a operator and we need to do it so let's take this regular expression and here so let's add here constant expression so we'll take here expression and let's try to write this expression here we need to add when you are you trying to use it here we need to add like this okay so this is the expression regular expression so we need for this splitting of this string so using this regular expression so now we need to get the value of number a number b and also this operator also we need to get it so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to write the logic for this one to get the number a number b and operator and we'll try to do the calculator thing so you try on your own so using this expression so what are the what is the method we need to use in the javascript method for in order to extract these values you try in your own or otherwise in the next video we'll try to do it so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you